Hey guys, Mr. Technology Nerd here, and today I'll be revisiting a video that a lot of you guys had questions on. You kept on urging me to do it again, and I never got a chance to do it, but let's do it again today. A nice remake, hopefully with better audio, unlike the last video. Um, so, here we have it. How to add games to the TI Inspire. So first, what you're going to want to have open is uh, the TI Inspire student software. You can... Um, you can you can only this has you have to have a serial number to actually download this. It does come with your calculator. It comes in a nice little CD and it has a serial number which you register with TI and they give it to you and then you get this little thing. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a little page that I found on TI's website over here. Um, so over here you see what the TI Inspire can actually read. So, the TI Inspire can read these right here. All these files right here, not including the ones I highlighted over there. These on this side, and this column right here. So, for people asking if it reads 8XG, it does not. As you can see, 8XG is right here. It does not support 8XG file. So, if you find an 8XG file, it will not work. So we're, I'm going to show you another a website too that you could download the games at. So, anyways, here's tiCalc.org. Um, you here you see tons of games. These are all Lua games, which uh, generally is what the um, calculator reads for a programming language. So I'm going to download one of my favorite games. Uh, if I can find it, blue. If it's here. Pixel Escape. This game is actually pretty fun. So you just click on it and it's going to download. So it's just going to open uh, the zip. All the files on tiCalc.org are zipped, so you do have to unzip them. Uh, for Mac, I use Stuff It Expander. Um, it's free. You can download it at uh, macupdate.com or at Stuff It's website. Um, for Windows 7Z is a great unzipper um, that you can download for free also. You can actually find it on your desktop. There we go. You can drag it between there. So hold on. So if you open up your, your TI Inspire should be connected and it should show up in this connected handhelds box. Here your Pixel Escape here on my desktop. So I already have a games folder, and actually I already have a a copy of Pixel Escape, but I'll copy it over. And since it's already present, I just put yes to all, and it is on the calculator. And now the f actually nice thing about the student software that I'll just show you right now is that if you want to run that, you can actually run it on your student software right here, how it would look on your TI Inspire. I'm not sure exactly what kind of buttons I can use though. But here it is how it would look on the TI Inspire right here. So there's Pixel Escape. Of course you can download other games like Block Dude. Or probably if you had the 84 you've seen Block Dude. Well they have a colored version of it. Another one favorite one of mine is Gravity Rush I think or Gravity Run. Something like that. So you could definitely download those games from that website I've provided. Guys I hope this video helped you out with any questions you may have. And um, I'm sorry about the delay in the video. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.